our show today is a little different and you will discover many things political and otherwise about our great country that you never knew stuff that i'm sure will be inspirational that despite all the challenges we're facing at the moment and the difficulties despite the fact that the kenyan situation right now looks impossible we shall overcome today's show is based on the very fascinating topic of the untold story of the Kenyan national anthem now just a quick reminder yeah those who have not renewed their WIB subscription and did not participate in the July or December contributions yeah, which qualify them to continue their subscription will need to renew as soon as possible in order to avoid the inconvenience of missing my next WIB which should be out in about 2-3 days kindly act yeah, and take advantage of our latest special offer right let's get down to business and karibu sana and enjoy the show today The story of Kenya's national anthem is a very fascinating tale. It is the story of something that was done under very difficult circumstances within very short notice. But still something that has stood the test of time. Now I don't know if you're like me. Yeah, because many times when our national anthem is played, I get goose pimples. A chill runs through my spine. Maybe it's because I've had the privilege of representing my motherland in a sport in a foreign country. And the sport is rugby. And you know what happens at such events. You're far away from home. And the Kenyan national anthem is played or maybe it's because i love my country kenya too much i'm not quite sure why yeah but it is very sad that some kenyans take our national anthem for granted and maybe that will change even if it's just a little bit when you hear the story behind our Kenyan national anthem. Sometime in August 1963, a cabinet minister known as Thomas Joseph Odhiambo Mboya, better known simply as Tom Boyer, was allocated the task by Prime Minister Jomo Kenyatta to come up with a Kenyan national anthem. It was a very urgent task yeah, with a strict timeline and with important political considerations. For instance, to this day, yeah, if you do your research anywhere, you will hear people saying that the Kenyan national anthem is unique because unlike the anthems of other African countries, it was composed and put together by Kenyans. That was the political narrative. However, it was unrealistic. Think about it for a minute. How many indigenous Kenyans had gone to school in the year 1963? And out of those few, how many were qualified enough in music to produce a national anthem that would stand the test of time. Very tall order, but in a minute you will know the truth of exactly what happened. Mboya approached a close friend 
a mzungu Kenyan a man called Graham Hyslop who put together as many indigenous qualified Kenyans as he could find yeah and remained in the background because history records that the person who led this team was a Kenyan a man called Reverend Johnson Kuto Kalume but of course that was pure optics yeah with all due respect to this great Kenyan yeah because I'm sure they all made a contribution but the main moving factor in all this was Bwana Hyslop who had come to Kenya at the age of 26 yeah in 1936 in my opinion Hyslop was some kind of music genius he had explored the tribal music of many Kenyan communities yeah previously and had created great music from various tribes in the country called Kenya but his favorite were perhaps the most musical Kenyan community to date the Pokomo most of us will know that the Pokomo hail from the Tana River in the coastal region of our country and so to find the tune yeah for this brand new african nation high slope settled on a pokomo song in fact a lullaby yeah that mothers often sang to their crying babies now the full group of people who composed the kenyan national anthem was follows George Senoga Zake Peter Kibukosia Washington Omondi Graham Hyslop and Johnson Kuto Kalume Now very interestingly Washington Omondi was only 22 years at the time He had just graduated from Edinburgh University in the United Kingdom the group were given only 7 weeks to complete this monumental task and so sometimes in September 1963 the national anthem of the country called Kenya was first recorded in Nairobi with the Pokomo tune Yeah, may we have a president of the Republic of Kenya from the Pokomo community soon and with some amazing words now many Kenyans don't know this the anthem was first composed in the local Kiswahili language and the English version of our national anthem is not a direct translation yeah it is just a similar song similar spirit saying something similar because for instance the first words of the anthem are e mungu nguvu yetu ulete baraka kwetu yeah now the translation of that is not o god of all creation no it is o god our strength our only real strength that's really what it means amazingly the kenyan national anthem is a prayer to god almighty wow and our national anthem was officially inaugurated at the huru gardens in nairobi on december 12th 1963 now Fascinatingly during the Moi administration President Moi put together a commission yeah to look into changing the national anthem into coming up with a brand new national anthem but later the president changed his mind we were never told why but i'm guessing it was realized by the various music experts that indeed our anthem was special so special 
that it was very difficult to come up with something better. In the 90s, Graham Hyslop passed on in 1978, the same year that Kenya's first president and founding father, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, passed on. The leader of the group went on to become the Right Reverend Johnson Kuto Kalume and has the distinction of being the very first clergyman to be elected to parliament. And that happened during the 1969 elections. Kalume passed on on March 15, 1975, just days after another great Kenyan, J.M. Karaoke, passed on, indeed was assassinated. He was elected legislator for Malindi North constituency. Now another interesting tidbit, the particular spot that has the distinction of promoting our national anthem to the world the most is the 3,000 meters steeplechase event, which has been dominated by Kenyans since its inception, yeah, and indeed is referred to as the Kenyan race. It is an obstacle race, yeah, which in my view is prophetic about the country called Kenya, in that although we'll overcome many obstacles, we will finally triumph as a country, yeah, and will triumph in fulfilling our God-given mandate. Until next time, this is Chris Komekucha.